All right. So now let's go ahead and get started with the installation of Anaconda for a Mac operating system. And uh, for the Mac operating system, you need to go ahead in your default browser and type there Anaconda. Okay. So once you type there the Anaconda, you will get the search result. And there I'm going to click on this installation. Once you click on this installation, you will see here a detailed documentation about the installation of the Anaconda. And I'm going to put here on the installation on Mac OS. This is really very important. So for the installation of the Mac OS, there are two options here, a graphical installation. And then here we have installation with the command cell or you can say with the command line terminals. So I'm going to prefer with the command line installation because after the uh, iOS update, uh, iOS Catalina update with the graphical user interface installation, Anaconda don't get actually and Anaconda doesn't get uh, all the permission to run it on the Catalina operating system. So here I'm going to prefer it with the with the command line so for the command line installation you need to click on here mac os installer so click on this mac os installer it will uh, it will lead you to uh, another another web page and there you go you click on this download and then here we are going to click on the 64 bit command line installer so once you click on this one, it will start downloading this uh, uh, command line installer. Okay, it might take a little time. Uh, and uh, before that, let's go ahead and go back to that installation instruction. This installation instruction is really very important. Okay, so once it, it's download get completed, I think it's just, uh, uh, just a few seconds left to complete this installation. Then we need to copy this bash download and the anaconda this one. So the download is here a default directory where this download of anaconda happens. So we are going to open the terminal at that place. All right, so let's go ahead and open iTerminal from a MacBook finder. So I'm going to open here iTerm. Once you open this iTerm, then I'm going to change the directory to downloads. And then the, in the downloads, we have the Anaconda there. And here is an instruction to install this command line package. Copy it and paste it here. So once we paste it here, we hit the enter. And then, then it displays the license of the Anaconda. You need to keep hitting the enter so that we can read and navigate to all over through this license. And at the end of this license, we need to accept this license where we need to hit the S. Yes. So yes. And now this says that this is a default location to install this Anaconda 3 on this Mac OS. So let's go ahead and hit the enter. And now it has started to install this Anaconda at this particular location. So we need to wait a little and uh, it takes some time to install it so let's go ahead and wait for that time all right so now you see here installation is done for the anaconda in mac os now let's go ahead and see here the next step for the installation so in the next step it says that once its installation is done and you hit the enter and its installation is done in the default directory then you need to, let me see here. Yes, then you need to uh, activate it, all right? So we need to find here uh, on the Mac OS Catalina, if you are having Mac OS Catalina, then we need to go ahead at the path where it is installed. And then finally, we need to activate it. So you see here, uh, by default, it is not activated. If we, if we type here Jupyter Notebook, you will see here, uh, it's, it should show some error. Otherwise, let's see if it is working. Just wait a second to complete its processing. Yes. So now you see here, it is working. All right. So we don't, 
we we I I, I think we don't need to activate it. Although I'm going to show you the process of that activation anyway, if you need to activate that. So for the activation, you see there is default directory uh, where we have installed it. Let me show you the default directory. So that default directory is here. So this is default directory. So I'm going to just copy it. Okay, so we can copy it. And once I copy it, it says that we need to put here a source and then the directory where it is installed and inside this bin, we need to put here activate. So once you click on this one, now you see here in the base here, Anaconda base is activated. Now you can do, uh, you can open your Jupyter notebook now as well. So in both ways, it should not, uh, uh, it, it should not show you any error to complete its installation and once it is installed then you need to go ahead at your desired directory currently we are in a download uh, directory and then you need to click on this new and with a python 3 then you can get started with this jupyter notebook and now you can do the coding and other things all right so apart from this in the next lessons we will uh, i'll take you through how you can get started with the coding in the Jupyter notebook. So this is all about in this lesson. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in next lesson.